All whatever you need is one man, Christ Jesus. It is packed in Christ Jesus. Allow him to enter in your life and work in you, with you, for you. He is working as you are receiving and you are giving testimony to the glory of God. By the names of Nakato Yudaya. Nakato Yudaya. And the man next to me is my lovely husband. These are my beautiful children Jesus has given us. The first on the right is Sonko Abigail. The next is Sonko Aaron. And the one I'm holding is Sonko Emmanuel Ebo. When today is Sonko Emmanuel Ebo. I'm here to testify for Jesus for the good things he has done in my life and to thank the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande for his endless prayers. Um, since childhood, I had a problem which was abnormal. I used to pluck hair on a specific part on my head. I told my dad, there is a problem with my head. My father tried his level best. He took me to hospitals because they had told him it's fungi. So he bought all the deworming tablets, all the medicine, but all in vain. Time went on. If I can remember, that was in primary two. I was seven years old. I went on with my problem. I joined secondary with my problem. Children would laugh at me. People would discriminate me. I felt embarrassed. So what I did, since I was a Muslim, it wasn't so hard for me to veil my head. So I could, every time I could pluck my hair off, it takes less than five minutes to pluck it off. I couldn't feel any pain. I couldn't feel anything. But after plucking it off, I could get a severe headache. And every time I get that headache, I'll be very angry. So I used to veil my head every time I was at school to avoid people from discriminating me. As I grew, I grew with my problem. Time came, I saw my dad was spending a lot. All in vain. So I told him, Dad, this is not normal. Stop spending your money on my head. Use it for other things. When God wants, it will go the way it came. So I grew with my problem. I joined university. That is where I met my husband. Became a born again from this living church. So he kept on telling me I go to church. We have a prophet. His name is Prophet Samuel Kakande. Because I told him I get a severe headache. But I didn't tell him my problem of plucking hair. So he told me, you come to our church. There is the man of God. Prophet Samuel Kakande. To pray for you. That headache will go. I told him no. You stay in your religion. Let me stay in my religion. My dad will chase me away from home. He will reject me. The all of my family will reject me. Will you be able to take care of me right now? That was hard because he was taking care of himself and we were both students. 
So time came, he used to bring me the blessed pen. This is the blessed pen. I used to use this pen to do my exams. He could bring it for me. He, my husband, he tells me it's a blessed pen. Our pastor prays for them. And everything you want to write with this pen, as long as it's good, you will achieve it. So we had a problem at home of tuition, then I wanted academic excellence. So I used the pen to do my exams. But remember when I'm reading, everything I read, I cannot remember it. But when I sit on the paper, the moment I start writing, all the matter that I read from the start of the semester, it comes back and it flows. So I passed. I, I, we were graduated. As you can see on the board, I got my degree. This is my transcript. In your transcript yange, from the Islamic University in Uganda. Okuva mu University ya mu Uganda. By the names of Nakato Yudaya. Kulika manyaga nge Nakato Yudaya. And here is I got a CGP. Wano mgate go wane ro. 370. Nafuna wane ro busatu no butuntundu nsamvu. That is a second class upper division. A second class upper division. Bachelors of law. Mu degree mateka. Clap for Jesus. Tukubira Yesu engalo. This is my transcript. You know, your transcript yange. from Islamic University in Uganda. Okuvamu University ya Basilam mu Uganda. It says this is to certify that Nakato Yudaya Chabalongo. Okaka Santi Nakato Yudaya Chabalongo. Having satisfied all the requirements was awarded the, the degree of Bachelors of Law. Ngamazok tu kiliza benebi etagi sabamu tikila degree ya mateka. Second class upper division. Second class upper division. Thank you, Jesus. Weva lenye Yesu. Brethren, Uganda. still that was because of this pain. From the Kakande ministries, prayed by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. But at that time I was not praying from here. And this is my certificate because I was a member of the Law Society in the school. Campus. Oh, I was a member under the finance committee. All because of this pen. Now the picture to show you. When I was a child. I could pluck hair on a specific part somewhere here. This shows. Eh? I pull it. Without any pain. Just the way you see here. It becomes totally empty. And after that I feel ashamed. I veil myself. It continued even up to here you can see. So time came. Still I was with my boyfriend. He didn't know anything about that. I conceived my first daughter. I had to start staying with him. But time came. This daughter of mine started getting sick. But before getting sick, she would experience evil attacks. So I got so scared. Time came and I got tired of it. I watched the DVD for Prophet Samuel Kakande. To see who is the pastor this gentleman goes to. When I watched the videos, this is a person I needed in the whole of my life. His preaching touched me. And I felt it was really not his own. It was from God. But as you know, marriage is a commitment. Time came, I couldn't hide the truth. I was in the bedroom dressing up. As I was about to veil, my husband was behind, I didn't know. He told me, what is this? What happened to you? 
As I've never seen this. And I was scared. Nentia. The first thing that came to my mind. Now this marriage is gone. So I said, come what may be if it's gone, let me tell him the truth. I told him how it started. I told him I also don't know what is wrong with me. But this is me. First he kept quiet, like for two days. We stayed in the house, he wasn't talking. So I said, if the Jesus or Prophet Samuel Kakande is alive, I leave it to you. You do whatever you want with me. And I left it to you. do whatever you want with me. After to those two days, he told me, you know what? This is a small problem to our church. You know what? You know what? This is a small problem to our church. Just remove the veil. Show it to him and he prays for you. Everything will be fine. So we came. We met the man of God in his office. I removed my veil. He prayed for us. And he told us it's all well. Took the faith. I pressed on. I said, Jesus, we are together. My partner, Prophet Samuel Kakande, we are together. Brother, and all that is history. As you can see, on the screen, my hair has grown. I no longer pull it. Watch the screen of a television. And see the miracle in the life of Sister Yudaya Nakato. A lady who had a patch, an empty patch on her head. Because she used to pluck her hair like she has told us. I thank Jesus for his grace. I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande Father. Thank you for your endless prayers. Glory and honor I give it to Jesus. Praise Jesus, brethren. Yes, you have as Uganda. My name is Waswa Joseph Sonko. Pitiwa Waswa Joseph Sonko. Besides me is my beloved wife. And inanya mchala wango mwagalwa. These are our children. Banobebana bafaya. My wife has told it all. Mchala wange benabe babu ulide. A man of God. Say that in this world we don't have problems. But we have tests. So this was my test in marriage. She had concealed that evidence from me. This is the evidence that Jesus of Prophet Samuel Kakande never fails. So I thank Jesus of Prophet Samuel Kakande for what he has done in our lives. And I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for his endless prayer. May glory and honor be back to God. My name is Mbaba Zijovia. From Machindia, Lusaka Chirombe. Standing next to me is my sweetheart. Eddie Kasule. By the time I came here, I had a sickness in my breast. And I had this sickness for one month. It started like a joke. I thought it was a joke and I didn't know that pus would accumulate in my breast. At first I didn't tell my husband. I kept quiet. But the pain intensified. The pain intensified. I told my husband I have pain in my breast. We went to Zambia Hospital. 
What confirms that I went to hospital? This is the medical report. On the screens before you is a medical report from St. Francis Hospital in Zambia. And it belongs to our sister Mbabas Jovia. So she went to this hospital complaining of a painful left breast for three weeks associated with swelling. It also states that she had taken some antibiotics for two weeks with no improvement. So when the doctors examined her, they found that the breast was noted to be warm, tender and swollen. So with this, she was diagnosed with left breast abscess. And brethren, this was found to be the cause of the severe pain. But all this was before prayers by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. After doctors examining me, they sent me to the theater for an operation. With so much pain, I could not sleep I could not eat. I could not put on clothes. I was just crying because of the pain. But because my husband knew about this place, he said, no, they will not operate upon you. We have a man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. Let's go to him that he may pray for you. I told him, what are you waiting for? Let's go straight away. Brethren, we came here when I came here for the man of God to pray for me. His hand upon many, and Jesus Christ is setting them free from every bondage. Yes, what is the Because the breast of this lady, she has got an abscess in the left breast, discharging blood and pus. The pain is so much that she has sleepless nights for a whole month. By his stripes, we are healed. Hallelujah! Watch Lady Jovia. Brethren have been in pain for a whole month. After Prophet Samuel Kakande praying for me, see my breast, it's This is just a scan now. Take a close look on the screen of the television and see the scar on the left breast of Lady Jovia. Remember, this was a very big septic wound the time she was prayed for. Oozing pus and blood. You can clearly see how it was before the prayer with a gaping wound that was so septic. We thank Jesus, the miracle worker that after Professor Bokakande praying for her, she's completely healed. Right now, I'm fine. I can sleep. I can put on clothes. I'm so happy. I thank Jesus for healing me. And I thank the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, for praying for me. I thank Jesus. And the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, for praying for me. Glory and honor back to Jesus. My name is Kasule Edi. Next to me is my 
sweetheart Jovia Mbabazi, my wife. I'm here to thank Jesus for healing my beloved wife, Jovia Mbabazi. She was in a very bad state like she has explained to you. But when I brought her here to the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, I wasn't charged any money. When Prophet Kakande prayed for her, she got healed. I thank Jesus of Prophet Samuel Kakande for healing my wife. Glory and honor back to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Kasozi Nora. By my side. Your Alex Salongo. Is my wonderful husband, Kasozi Alex Salongo. I've come from Nansa and Nsumbi. We've come here to testify to Jesus. I used to conceive and the babies would die in my womb. For the first pregnancy, the baby died in my womb at three months. I went to hospital, the doctors gave me injections. It threw so much pain. But I would give birth to a dead baby. The next pregnancy, the baby died in the womb at seven and a half months. Because of severe pain, I went to hospital. The doctors induced me with labor pains just to push out the dead baby. The clan members got fed up of barring. Relatives spoke so many words about me. They said I just went to eat my husband's money. When I conceived the third pregnancy, I got so scared. And I knew that I was going to lose it also. And the relatives of my husband said that this time if the baby dies, I should take the dead fetus to the side of my parents, they should bury the baby there. I came here to Prophet Samuel Kakande. I had dizziness. I came here to Prophet Samuel Kakande and he prayed for me. Brethren, the pregnancy grew up to full term of nine months without me using any medicine. I gave birth normally. I gave birth to boys. Here they are. The one I'm carrying Yewaswa Alozias is Waswa Alozias. Onomlala and this other one Ye Kato Alon is Kato Aron. Banang and Azala Bana Balunji. I gave back to very beautiful children. Abana Bangaba Miesim and Dutch Tundu. My twins are nine and a half months. Let's clap for Jesus for this miracle. Katu Kubila Swangala Zama Yorecha Magarachino. Remember this is a lady who came with a poor obstetric history. Amalugana Mujikona Mchara Yajanga Bia Five Yokuzala Kwabi. She had so far lost two pregnancies. The babies died in her womb. Abana Mabili Bam Fida Mulubuto. And see how Jesus of Professor Mokakande has compensated her. He gave her twins. What a wonderful compensation. Clap for Jesus, the miracle worker. My name is Kasozi Alex. Salongo. Salongo. Seated next to me. Is my wife Kasozi Nola. Nalongo. Nalongo. We've come to give a testimony. 
After my wife having intrauterine fetal deaths each pregnancy she would conceive the babies would die in the womb by the time she would give birth the babies would be dead already just like she has explained to you but when prophet Samuel Kakande prayed for her she didn't lose any baby again these are the twins we are carrying. Brethren, I thank Jesus and Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for us. Glory and honor back to Jesus. I'm by the name of Amanya Duncan. I came from Mutundwe. I came here when I was working as an Askari. And by that time, I was having a problem of sickness of coughing. Of which it took almost eight years. Uh, when the prophet Samuel Kakande prayed for me, that time, I was healed instantly. From there, in terms of finance, since I was working as an Askali, things changed. Quite confirms that I was working as an Askari. I was working with Seras in Uganda Limited. By that time. So after Prophet Samuel Kakande prayed for me, things changed. Like the way how Jesus changes seasons and times. So that's Jesus hope to me. I managed to get money. Here I bought a motorcycle. Boda boda. From there, Okuvao, I started as a border border ride in Kampala. Natandi Kokfuga border border Mukampala. The Lord Jesus hoped me. Mukamanga is Christian Yamba. I managed to get money. Nasova of Funa Sente. I bought some pieces of land in Yantonde. Nengula Yetake Yantonde. Here are the agreements which confirm that I bought some pieces of land in Yantonde. The one is, is in Kaushega, LC1. The one is in Kaushega, LC1. In Yantonde district. The other one is in Gayaza, LC1. Also, also in Yantonde district. From there, Benavao, Jesus didn't, didn't stop there. He continued. With his mercy on me, he gave me some money. Then since I was an Askari, I used to admire people's shops which, which I used to guard. During that time, I prayed to God. And Prophet Samuel Kakande also prayed for me. His prayer has really worked for me. Now I decided to open up a shop. Here, it confirms that I opened up a shop. This shop, it sells ladies' clothes. Here, downtown in Kampala at Ham Shopping Grounds. That's Clap where my Jesus. shop is. Clap for Jesus. I started going out to Kenya, e Kenya, shop from Kenya. Here is my passport, e passport yange. which confirmed that I'm Amanya Duncan. E Here are the various stamps, stamp which confirms when I'm going out to 
to shop items for my shop. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done for me. Thank you, Prophet Samuel Kakande, for praying for me. The glory and Hannah be back to Jesus. My name is Miss Namoli Florence. From, from Rugoba Katoke A. From Rugoba Katoke A. Nadia much fortune no longer numizibo Kuguru. I came to this church when I had pain in my leg. I slid and fell down. I first went to Mulago Hospital. I had pain in my leg for two and a half weeks. When I came here, the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, prayed for me. And the pain disappeared. Brethren, I got healed. And this is the right leg. It got healed. Right now, I can even jump. I can even dance. I can bend. I can walk. Clap for Jesus. I thank Jesus. And that's not all. If, I thank Jesus for healing me. And I thank the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, for praying for me. Glory and honor back to Jesus. I'm Subuga Joseph. Joseph. Coming from Chanja. Mbachanja. I've come here to testify for the goodness of the Lord. My dad was struggling with school fees. So I came on the prayer line. To be prayed for by Prophet Samuel Kakande. And indeed he prayed for me. So I've been able to acquire the following as you're going to see on the board. I was able to get a sponsorship. So I she paid for my school fees for two years. So this is what confirms that I did the A level. My name is here. Nsubuga Joseph. Nsubuga Joseph. Central College Mitiana. Central College Mitiana. I acquired 11 points. So I thank God for this. So from there, the prayers of man of God didn't stop there. I was admitted on government sponsorship at Bukalas Agricultural College. So I appeared in newspapers. That was the weekly observer of man the August 10th to 11th, 2015. We were admitted 6,000 to institutes and colleges. So uh, I was given a course in diploma 
agribusiness management. And my name is here. Nusubuga Joseph. Nusubuga Joseph. To confirm that I was admitted further. Uh, when I went to the college, I was given this admission form. So you can see it is headed Bukalas Agricultural College. Nusubuga Joseph. Reason. Admission for a course on government sponsorship. Brethren, this was because of the prayers of man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. With his prayers, Prophet Samuel Kakande, I managed to pass excellently. I didn't get any retakes while at the college. And I was able to get, as you can see, a great point of 4.16. Which is a very good second class upper. This was because of the prayers of Prophet Samuel Kakande. So God didn't stop here to blessing me. I got a job even before I graduated. So, Thank you, Jesus. The prayers of man of God didn't stop there. God gave me the knowledge and wisdom. So, this is what I'm doing at my place of work. Here, I was training farmers uh, on how to farm in the compound. This is basically uh, backyard gardening. So I'm here in an overall talking to farmers. Here I was teaching school children uh, doing backyard gardening on sacks. As you can see here on this photo, this is where we, the things we are doing so well, and everyone is got by surprise at my place of work. Because the station is located on a rock, but I've been able to do some good work by the grace of God. I thank Jesus for blessing me. I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for his endless prayers. Glory and honor back to Jesus.